I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor, and today we're going to get to know your skin and skin conditions. In my practice, the number one health challenge individuals from all ages seem to be plagued with is a condition called eczema. Eczema is just what looks to be a scaly rash on, in the, or on your skin can affect people of all ages. I've had individuals that are 72 years old have it. I've had young children two or three years old have it. And statistically, what I have read, it appears that individuals who have eczema also seem to have more of an opportunity to have asthma. Can the two be interrelated with each other? Well, from my experience, what we generally do and add to our patients who have eczema is a good quality source of optimal essential fatty acids. Well, what's an essential fatty acid, Dr. Bob? Essential fatty acids are two oils that are used by your body to make a fat-like hormone called the prostaglandin. Prostaglandins take away pain and they also take away inflammation. See, your lungs really are skin, but they're on the inside of your body. And they do respond to different oils. They do also respond to stress. And I found from my experience that eczema and asthma may have something to do with stress that you may have been associated with. You see, you really don't want to give a, a young child margarine and unhealthy oils. You want to give them good oils. And oftentimes, children might not want to take oils at all but you could really literally mix essential fatty acids with the food. An example of an essential fatty acid that's not really common is flax oil. We use an organic based flax oil in our practice. There's another type of oil which is an omega-6 essential fatty acid which would be something like black currant oil, primrose oil, safflower oil, and sunflower oil. Black currant, Safflower, sunflower oil, and primrose oils are good oils to give individuals who have eczema and who also may suffer with asthma. Do you know that dandruff and seborrhea really are flaky skin because of lack of optimal oil? So if you're suffering right now with chronic dandruff, you don't have to go out and buy a special shampoo. Just want to add good, healthy oil to your life. You know, acne is a major challenge. It's a major challenge for all ages. Yes, that's right, adult onset acne is a body signal to me that you're really congested. Let's talk about children. Let's talk about children and, and acne, especially adolescents. This is something that I have found. When children start to mature, their liver gets congested or compromised. See, your liver is their major organ for detoxification. And if your liver is not functioning optimally, you can start to notice blemishes on the skin of your face. What really compromises liver function probably more than anything else is dairy products. If you're watching me right now and you have a child or a grandchild somewhere in the world and you know they're consuming ice cream, cottage cheese, yogurt, cheese, cheese on pizza, and they have an acne problem, for one month, that's all I'm asking, for one month, have that child go off of dairy products, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add water to their life, water to, by a way of a, a pure source of water that helps the lymphatic system function optimally inside of a person's body. So acne, I know over time will go away when you get rid of the dairy and other toxins. You see. Dairy usually comes from cows that are lactating and have a lot of hormones in them. If you're going to consume dairy products, you want to use organic dairy. Organic dairy will help take less of a stress off of your liver. And of course, just as a side note, Dr. Bob's ABCs. A half a red apple every day, third cup of beets, four or five baby carrots would be definitely very good. Another issue that I see with individuals and you're gonna really enjoy this next nugget, so pay attention, that have skin lesions or skin problems, is I want you to look in the mirror after we're done with this presentation and look at the pores in your face. 
do you have large facial pores? Large facial pores are a body signal to me that you have a deficiency of zinc inside of your body. Take a moment right now and I want you to look at your fingernails. Go ahead, take a look at your fingernails. Do you see white spots on your fingernails? White spots are a body signal that you don't have enough zinc inside of your body. Zinc promotes healing. If you don't have enough zinc, you're gonna have cuts that heal slowly, large pores on your, plate, on your face. Men who don't have enough zinc in their body will have pain on the inside of their heels from referred pain from their prostate gland. It can affect your memory if you don't have enough zinc. Zinc is used by a part of your brain called the hippocampus. The hippocampus is important for memory. So you can start to see all of this interrelates with each other. Zinc is also important for the body to make insulin. Do you have freckles on your face right along your bridge nose line right here? Individuals who have freckles, which means they have increased copper, have more challenges falling to sleep at nighttime. And they scar easy. That means if you have a cut, there's going to be a scar there. Sometimes we call that keloid formation. Keloid is increased scar tissue. If you're a female and you had any type of surgery, whether it be a cesarean section or your gallbladder out, and you have lots of adhesions in your body, it's usually too much copper, not enough zinc. Going back to this, the outside part of your skin, wheat and soy deplete the body of zinc. Wheat and soy raise copper. I've had individuals, especially young men, who have scarring on their back because they have a passion addiction for pizza and sandwiches. And those sandwiches that have wheat in it deplete the body of zinc. I also know that you could have challenges by eating soy. Soy depletes the body of zinc. Do you want to know what a good source of zinc is? Seeds, especially pumpkin seeds. We have a pumpkin powder that we have available for our patients. Pumpkin powder is a vegetable source of protein. One scoop will give you 10 grams of protein. Some other common skin lesions that people don't always know what to do with happens to be, or skin challenges, are varicose veins, spider veins, and even hemorrhoids are part of a skin challenge. If you have broken blood vessels on the lower part of your legs or on your legs, those are called spider veins, commonly caused by a congested or compromised liver. Once again, Dr. Bob's ABCs, a half an apple every day, third cup of beets, four or five baby carrots. Those are body signals, by the way. That is the varicose veins, the spider veins, and the hemorrhoids of a compromised or congested liver. There's one other lesion or skin problem that's very common and people don't seem to know what to do with. They're called cherry hemangiomas. The little red dots that you'll see scattered, especially on your breast or abdomen in females. Now, if you're a male and you're watching me right now, and if you happen to be a mature male, anybody over 30 years old, that means you're past that adolescence phase and you're starting to see cherry hemangiomas, that's very serious. That's a body signal to me that you have too much estrogen inside of your body. That means that you have greater potential to have challenges with prostate issues down the road from now and you don't want that to happen. How do you eliminate these cherry hemangiomas and spider veins and varicose veins? You want to stop the fried food, stop the soda, stop the dairy. Drink pure water. Eat your ABCs, apple, beets, and carrots. Eat whole foods. Now, tying all this together for skin issues, your skin is the report card of what's going on inside of your body. If you have many blemishes on your skin and they seem to be multiplying, it's not the skin. You could put lots of topical applications to your skin and it won't get to the root cause of the problem. Healing the skin is an inside out process. It takes time, it takes persistence, and it takes discipline. Adding whole foods to your life will help promote the integrity of skin. The skin needs zinc. And one last thought, your liver needs B vitamins to process that extra estrogen. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor, getting to know about your skin.